we have another fundamental feature of the constitution or you can say the salient feature of the constitution that is the adults suffrage the framers of indian constitution incorporated the system of uniform adult suffrage according to article 326 every citizen of india who has attained the age of 21 years has a right to cast vote to elect the legislature both at the central and the state however 61st amendment act 1989 reduced the voting age from 21 to 18. We have another feature of the constitution that is national unity and single citizenship. Though India is a federation, in order to protect the national unity and integration, the constitution provides for single citizenship for the whole of India. Unlike United States of America, the Indian constitution provides for single citizenship. There is no state or dual citizenship. Another feature of the constitution of India is the existence of parliamentary form of government. The significant feature of Indian constitution is the parliamentary form of democracy. The majority party in the lower house, which is also called as Lok Sabha, forms the government. The Council of Ministers is responsible to the Lok Sabha. The Cabinet is the real executive head to give reality and content to the democratic ideals which are propounded in the preamble of the Constitution. The Constitution establishes parliamentary form of government, both at the center as well as within the states, in which the executive is responsible to an elected legislature. Thus, the parliamentary form of government gets the authority from the will of the people. Another feature is the judicial review and the independence of judiciary. Indian constitution provides for the independent and impartial judiciary with a power of judicial review. Article 13 provides for the judicial review of all the legislations in India, prospectively and retrospectively. Under Article 124, the Supreme Court and the High Court judges are appointed by the President. They are not subject to the control by any authority. Further, Article 32 and 226 confers on the Supreme Court and the High Court the power of judicial review. An independent and impartial judiciary is said to be the first condition of liberty. It is the custodian of the constitution. It determines the limits, the powers of the center and the state in order to ensure impartiality. Removal of judges has been made subject to the impeachment by the parliament. After due resolution and notice, the constitution of India is the supreme law of land. It lays down the framework defining the fundamental political principles, establishes the structure, procedures, powers, and duties of the governmental institutions, sets out the fundamental rights, directive principles, and the duties of citizens. The Indian constitution not only provides for the structure of the governance, but also provides for the requirement of diversified social fields.